Hey, 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 I'm here, folks, to explain to you things about Islam that you did not know. So let's get started. The name Islam was given by our Creator in the last and final testament, the Quran. Torah was the Old Testament. Bible was the New Testament. And Quran was the last testament. And the word Islam was given by our Creator in the last testament. No, no, no. It was not given by any ayatollah or imam. It was the Creator himself gave the name Islam. How do I know it? Let's just listen to this. وَمَا اخْتَلَفَ الَّذِينَ أُوتُوا الْكِتَابَ إِلَّا مِنْ بَعْدِ مَا جَاءَهُمُ الْعِلْمُ بَغْيًا بَيْنَهُمْ وَمَنْ يَكْفُرْ بِآيَاتِ اللَّهِ فَإِنَّ اللَّهَ سَرِيعُ الْحِسَابِ Indeed, the religion in the sight of Allah is Islam. And those who were given the scripture did not differ except after knowledge had come to them, out of jealous animosity between themselves. Okay, the people who follow the religion of Islam are the Muslims. So, what is Allah? Is it a moon god living in Mecca in Saudi Arabia? No, 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 no. The Aramaic word for God in the language of Assyrian Christians is Elaha or Allaha. Arabic speakers of all Abrahamic faiths, including Christians and Jews, use the word Allah to mean God. The Christian Arabs of today have no other word for God than Allah. What kind of God is Allah? Let's hear it. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. In the name of Allah, the entirely merciful, the especially merciful. Qul huwa Allah ahad. Say, He is Allah, who is one. Allahu Samad. Allah, the eternal refuge. Lam yalid wa lam yulad. He neither begets nor is born. Wa lam yakul lahu kufuwan ahad. Nor is there to him any equivalent. Okay, now let's look at these Muslims. So, what's up with this weird way the Muslims pray? They seem to be kissing the ground. And they do it like five times a day. Isn't that pretty weird? Well, actually, if you look at many of the prophets of the Old Testament and the New Testament, they appear to have prayed similar way. For example, Old Testament, Eskail 11, 13, it says, Fell I down upon my face, and cried with a loud voice, and said, Ah, Lord God. 2 Chronicles 20, 18, Old Testament. And Jehoshaphat bowed his head with his face to the ground, and all Judah and the inhabitants of Jerusalem fell before the Lord, worshipping the Lord. Old Testament, Eskail 9, 8. And I was left, and I fell upon my face, and cried. Old Testament, Joshua 5, 14. And Joshua fell on his face to the earth, and did worship. Old Testament, Nehemiah 8, 6. It says, with lifting up their hands, and they bowed their heads, and worshipped the Lord with faces to the ground. Old Testament, Numbers 16, 20-22. Moses, unto Aaron, and they fell upon their faces and said, O God. Old Testament, Exodus 34, 8. And Moses made haste and bowed his head toward the earth and worshipped. 
New Testament, Matthew 26, 39. And he, Jesus, went a little further and fell on his face and prayed. New Testament, Matthew 17, 6. And when the disciples heard it, they fell on their face and were sore afraid. Old Testament, Genesis 17, 3. And Abraham fell on his face, and God talked with him. Old Testament, Genesis 17, 17. Then Abraham fell upon his face, and laughed. So, it looks like most of the prophets of the Old Testament and the New Testament seem to have prayed similar way the Muslims are praying today. Isn't that interesting?